I'm JB Vardrin. I'm Stephen Mullis, and we're engineers. And today our first question is... Where do baby robots come from? Hmm... I've always heard tell that from robot storks, but I'm not sure. Hmm. Now, I think... Baby robots come from engineering parents, you mm. see? An engineer or engineers get together and they, you, and they form a brainchild. And from this brainchild, from careful nurturing and attentive care and calculations, they form the baby robot. And the baby robot, as they train it, as they improve it better, becomes a full adult robot ready to go into the industrial world and solve all mankind's problems. Or if you have evil parents, destroy the world. Yeah. We don't talk about those engineers. <laughs> those are Georgia Tech engineers. Yes. Why is there not enough time in the day? This is from PSP, which is one of the robot children aforementioned. Just for the audience to know. So, see, we weren't lying. Wink, wink. I say that there is infinite amounts of time in the day, right? Because, as aforementioned to our diagram, the sunlight is constantly showing this infinite day. It's just that the day is, the earth is moving. And so the day stays still, like right here. This is day, right here. Like, this is day. Infinite day, because daylight's shining right there. Oof, shoof. That's the technical sound effect. Shoof. And day is shining infinitely on all this stuff. But, but we're moving. So actually, it's not that there's not enough time in the day. It's just not enough day in our time. Oh. Why do the British drive on the left side of the road? See, back in the day, it's like, if this is a time, I have my major on the board. Say, so this is time. Yay. And like around there, <laughs> we did what we call a little American Revolution, in which case we dominated the British so bad. So they used to drive on the right side of the road because they were right, so they're on the right side of the road. But we came up and we were like, BAM! Boston Tea Party, Bill of Rights, in your face! Like, boom! I go to the face! And then like we hit them so hard, they actually scooted over on the road. And we hit them so hard too, that we changed their spelling. Now color was at one time spelled C-O-L-O-R. That's how it was originally spelled, okay? That's how color was originally spelled. But we hit them so hard that color got extra U added in. We, we knocked their alphabet so hard, you fell out. And the same thing to like a lot of like, uh, what was it, armor, something like that. I mean. This U has been propagated throughout all their their their, their written language as a marking of their bitter, angry, just total elbow in the face defeat. And and the fact that they call a trunk a boot, and they call chips crisp, and French fries chips, and uh, elevators lifts, and and apartment buildings flats when they're really really not tall. Flat at all. The, yeah, we screw them up so much. Like they 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 hate us, but they deserve it. They, yeah, basically. An engineer or engineers get together and they you and they form a brainchild. Okay? And from this